Sufra is often referred to as one of the best experiences on the island. To add to that experience, the Fordu Eco Resort recently unveiled St. Lucia's first historical park. The park boasts an 18th century French fortress, prison cells, a shrine, nature trails, picnic areas, kai floor, an interpretation center, and washrooms. The managing director of Fordo Eco Resort, Leighton Lamontine, explains that the historical park will serve many purposes, with the main one being the education of the public. In cities it was because we have the roads, number one. Uh, the famous battle was actually fought here at Fordo on the other side of the road, the Battle of Rabba. So we thought why would we develop it because there's no natural park in St. Lucia. Um, but the Appigeon Point, uh, no historic park, sorry. Uh, you have the national park in the Appigeon Point, but after that, that's it. Uh, and the beauty about that is then our people now you will know, start learning of the history. So they, when they come, you have the, the uh, artifacts they can see, you have the ruins they can see, you have the trails, uh, what the people did, and they can get a picture of exactly what happened um, uh, in their minds, or how the war, and how the, why the war was won by the French. Um, and also, um, we we'll give our students, hopefully the schools, we plan to invite the schools, because a lot of our students are young people, a lot of work, that history of St. Lucia. Uh, right, I'm not aware that that battle actually took place in Sufra and at Fondo. So that would be good for Sufra and the world. That means it gives Sufra another attraction. Echoing the sentiments of the managing director, project coordinator at Fondo Historical Park, Jimmy Haynes, further explains that the historical park will undoubtedly enhance the Sufra experience. It's important to know your history because if you don't know where you've come from, it's hard to chart the way forward. Um, it's also important to dispel mistruths and half-truths, which is the history that we were taught by the British about ourselves. Uh, so in terms of education and enlightenment, uh, that's one of the reasons why we thought that we should share what's here with the rest of the world. In tourism as well, we need to use our natural assets, our architectural assets, our cultural assets, and our historical assets. And we can use that to enhance the experience of people who visit our island, at the same time providing employment for our people. And that's how we grow our economy and diversify our tourism industry. He says apart from the rich history, the park is a great place for relaxation and nature lovers. Member of Parliament for Soufre Francais Jacques, Emma Hippolyte, has lauded the initiative and expressed her satisfaction with the product that the Lamontines are offering. I have gone through the little museum downstairs and I think it was well done. It provides a history of slavery and the war, the various wars in Soufre, especially on this site. I think that is what's important. And now we've moved in and see some of the ruins and very engaging, very uh, uh, refreshed, a new product, to, addition to the tourism product. So I want to commend them and compliment them on this new initiative. Fondo Historical Park is open to visitors every day from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visitors to the park can choose to have a guided tour or to enjoy the site without the services of a tour guide. Operators say additions such as a wedding gazebo, a snacket, a souvenir shop, and more nature trails are in the near future. From Sufra FM, I am Genevieve Gonzaga.